Hello there, Galactica Transica here with another tutorial video. This video I'm going to show you how to create a pulsing effect for your music. I find this effect works very well with synthesizer pads or if you're using strings. So, without further ado, let's show you how to do it. So firstly, I'm gonna, I've am gonna i made this short um, melody um, just for this presentation. So let's have a listen to this. So if I go to my synthesizer pad, which is called Titanic Waves, um, that's the track I'm going to work on for this presentation. So firstly, what you do is you click on EQ. So let's open the channel EQ. It's created a channel. Um, and now what you do, you switch on the low pass filter, or you can use any of these. It's up to you what you do, just experiment what sounds best. But for this presentation, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So. The next thing you do is you go to MIDI FX. Now, bear in mind, this only works for MIDI files. It does not work for audio. So, only MIDI. So you go to Modulator. That opens the Modulator. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator, in the Modulator to automate the EQ. So, what you do, so I'm gonna solo that, so we can just hear that. Now what I'm going to do, if you click on this part here, go to Learn Plugin Parameter. Now, whenever I click on, it's going to assign the LFO to it. So, so there you go, I've assigned the low pass filter to the LFO the modulator and it's automated, automatically doing that now you can control how much you wanted to do it here you can choose what pattern you wanted to do it so you can have it as a the saw, or a sine wave, or a square wave, or varied, which sound all that good. So I'm going to choose a sine wave, and now you can change the rate. So, there we go. I've automated the modulator with the channel EQ. So let's see what it sounds like.
Slower down a bit. the idea of that you can actually do it you don't have to do it on eq you can you you can do it on any parameter you want and it'll work so say if you had the retro synth you might want to add it on the the cutoff or or the resonance well, it's up to you what you want to do what you use it for but um it's a useful tip to know well i hope that's helped and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Give us a like. It does help the channel a lot. Um, I know it's a pain um, we keep saying it, but it does. It does help the channel a lot. And um, see you soon. <laughs>